over cooling to dehumidify. What does that mean? And what are some of the problems? In today's video, I'm going to cover something that we're starting to see more and more on today's smart thermostats. And I want you to understand what it is, why it's there and what you need to know about it moving forward. The other day I was at my own house and my thermostat said overcooling to dehumidify. It had gotten kind of chilly in the room and I realized my dehumidifier in my home had been turned off. But it got me to thinking about folks like you if you have caught this video because unless you understand what the system is doing and why that feature is there, you may think something is wrong and something may actually be wrong. But let me first say, it could be fine, especially if it's not something you see that often. I have certainly been in homes where a homeowner has had a thermostat for three years, never saw that feature pop up, and it just happens to be one crazy day where it's kind of mild outside, it's not super hot, but it is muggy, and the system is trying to remove more humidity from that space. And so essentially what the system is doing is it sees that the relative humidity in the room has gotten high and it's going to go past your set point to try to remove some of that humidity. In many homes, if the humidity gets above 60%, it creates all kinds of problems such as comfort problems, material problems, materials in the home can be affected by the humidity levels, and finally, even bigger problems such as mold or mildew if the humidity continues to stay high. But just understand that your comfort is not just affected by the temperature of the room. My old boss used to say that 72 degrees in your house doesn't feel like 72 degrees in my house because he knew that his humidity levels were lower and that he could feel much cooler at the same exact temperature. But yes, if that system is continuously overcooling to dehumidify, then you could have times where the house feels more cool than you want it to be. You may adjust the temperature based on that alone. But also understand that when that system is doing that, it could be telling you that there is a bigger problem at play here. It could be masking a humidity issue that you need to get resolved before you have big problems. Some of those problems could be problems with the home envelope, the need for a dehumidifier, perhaps a leak somewhere. Maybe you have a leak in your crawl space you're not aware of, or that simply the AC system that's been installed is oversized for the home. In fact, the Department of Energy came out recently and said as much as possibly 90% of homes out there have HVAC systems that were installed incorrectly, many of those problems leading simply to the sizing of the system itself. So yes, calling a pro might fix this, right? You might get a pro in there and they can actually diagnose and fix the problem, perhaps getting a dehumidifier humidifier itself to remove humidity from the home could play a big role or simply having things done to the heating and air system itself, such as adjusting the fan speed could play a big role in how well that system is dehumidifying. Air conditioning systems by default will remove humidity from the home, but I don't think enough folks realize the psychometric side of things where slowing down the fan speed, for example, could result in a cooler coil that is below dew point removing more humidity from the home and so on. So again, at the end of the day, seeing something like that pop up on your screen, overcooling to dehumidify could be concerning, especially if you do feel cold in your home. But if it's not an ongoing issue, maybe it's something that can wait until the next time you have your HVAC system maintained and you mention it to the technician that's out there. But if it's continuously going on, there could be a bigger problem at play and you might want to get it resolved right away. Finally, Many thermostats, overcooling to dehumidify is a feature that can be turned off. It's not something I would recommend, especially if you have ongoing humidity issues. You may want to actually remedy the issue and not band-aid the problem by disabling the feature. Just my two cents, you may disagree. That said, if you like this video, I think you'll like this one even more. It's where we talk about how to size a heating and air system with a new technology that's on the market that many pros are taking advantage of. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button for more HVAC tips. We'll see you next time.